and gentlemen, what's up? I hope you're all doing well. I know it's been a minute, but welcome to yet another episode of Cut on Wheels podcast. I'm your host, Cut, and uh, this is the season two, episode one of the Cut on Wheels podcast, and I'm so, so excited because bigger things and better things are happening in this episode, and we're introducing new segments, and we're having new guests who will be talking more and more about bikes, things that are very interesting to all of you, especially fanatics, you know, the bike fanatics and all that, you know. And... Uh, in this episode, we are at the Black Rose Limited. Black Rose is a limited company that is technology-oriented with a marketing background. And today, we're so excited to be at the Black Rose Limited. We are at the Black Rose Garage. That is where we are hosting our podcast today. And uh, probably very, very many episodes to come, we'll be hosting it here. And today, I'm so excited to introduce to you our guest for today. His name is Max. Most of you know him as... Uh, Short shifter. I don't know. I don't know why. Pretty much why the, the why the name, bro. But I'm sure he'll he'll explain to us why. Karibu sana, Max. Asante sana. Are you excited to be here? I'm excited to host you, man. Thanks. I am happy to be here as well. Thank you so much, bro. Yeah. Short shifter, man. You Gina, you talk about me. Uh, okay. The full name is Shof- Short Shifter Forty Seven. So I'll start with the Forty Seven part. Mm. So Forty Seven. Uh. I consider myself a gamer, ah. like I love uh, playing video games, mm. and there's, there's this series called Hitman. Yeah, yeah, I know it. So, and the main character, his code is like Agent 47. Ah, yeah. So, I just took that from there. It's, it's been my favorite uh, series, mm. gaming series, and uh, Short Shifter, I just... I don't know where that name came from, to be honest. I just saw somebody, you see the way when you ride a motorcycle, you don't wait for the revs to get like to the optimal uh, point where you can now shift smoothly. Like you you rev, you ride the bike at 3000 RPM, let's say in my uh, for my bike, mm. 3000 you have already shifted up one gear. Mm. Uh, if it goes down, you shift up again, uh, like you are shifting them, you are shifting the gears when it's very uh, low at mm. low RPM, RPMs. Ah, and short. That's short shifting. So I just took that name from there. You're riding an RNM. Yes. So before we started the podcast, we were having this argument. You're saying your bike is not the loudest yet. I know your bike is the loudest. Ah. In Kenya so far, that's my argument. I, I really hope not, because I'm not a loud person. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just came with ear earplugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no, that, that means a lot. You have to use. Uh, I, I don't use earplugs. Ear plugs. Oh, for this bike, you have to. Yeah, because it's loud. Yeah. I, yes, it's <laughs> loud. But <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> that said extent. Mm. We have talked about must be louder. Yeah, I do. I, yes, I think it's louder. Yeah, it's loud actually. I tried it, but somehow I still feel like. Your bike is the loudest, man. <laughs> remember the time we were, we were at Karirana and then you did some flybys? Ah, yes, I back. remember. Yeah, yeah, that was so loud and I really loved the, the cross-plane engine. Yeah. So, c- uh, tell us about cross-plane engine. So, the difference uh, between, okay, most sports bikes, especially the Japanese ones, mm. they are inline fours. Mm. And uh, even this is an inline four, but the the crankshaft mm. is what makes it uh, different from normal inline fours. <coughs> so I can't go deep into like the design, but what I can tell you is the crankshaft design of the R1, mm. R1M, basically mm. the cross plane is different from the normal uh, uh, inline fours. Mm. And also the firing <coughs> order, you see like uh, when the spark plugs, when the firing and the firing order of this bike is different from uh, the firing order of a normal inline four. So that's why it has that, to me, the best sounding engine. It's just so sweet, man. Eh? It's, it's really nice. And uh, I believe there's no other bike that sounds better than this. Maybe the Aprilia's, because they have the V4. But you don't have Aprilia's in Kenya. So let's oh no, no, I, I've seen one. They are, they are, they really? Are, yeah, Kitambo. I've seen an Aprilia RSV4. 
I think 2018, when I was just still new, I would still consider myself a new rider. Uh, there I've seen an Aprilia here, and it sounds... I think that's the only other engine configuration that sounds better than the crossplane engine, in my opinion. But mm. not by a large margin. Very, like, 100 is Aprilia, 99.9, the crossplane CP4. <laughs> people have bikes in this country or Melalisha too. So maybe when I was scared, I love to say, oh, really? Yeah. Hold, my, hold my beer. I love to say, can yeah, you fit this? Yeah. This, the, the Aprilia, I think, sounds the best, in my opinion. So this bike is as is just like the way you bought it. You didn't, uh, you have not done any... Uh, no mods. Okay, no. the person I bought it from already like did what i could have possibly have done if i had gotten this bike stock ah okay, okay. because uh like this bike uh from factory i think it comes with uh, titanium headers mm. so if you need like a full titanium system you just need to put like the slip on mm. uh, and we'll have a full uh titanium system so the person i bought it from already did that it is it has a full uh austin racing uh exhaust hmm. i don't know whether it's mapped but it has a lot of pops and bangs very nice ah, definitely <laughs> definitely <laughs> and uh yeah so pops and bangs the the things i normally change like when i my previous bikes they have already been changed like levers, I will remove the stock ones and put uh, things like the ASV levers. Mm. Like levers, you can adjust like where the lever is, the position, the distance between the handlebar and the lever, mm. where you can grab. Things like those, the bike had already been modified. Mm. So mm. I've done nothing. The only thing I've done to this bike is add some few KMs mileage now that's it and no regrets <laughs> no regrets so yeah. far so but far it's, a, so it's a very clean unit this one uh i really admire it by the way it's a it looks like a neat bike it's not something you'd want to want to what <laughs> i know what you <laughs> yeah I, know, I think you know what i mean but from the look <laughs> of things the answer is a no so it's not for sale anytime it's no. it's like your dream bike uh, one of them yeah uh my dream bike actually was the mt10 ah. the naked version of this mm. and that is what i was saving for mm. uh, all along if you ask like the person i was telling this the most was uh, kyle mm. from uh, exotic bikes because mm. i've bought all my bikes through him mm. and uh what i was telling him was Wha uh, if I'm ever going to upgrade to a litre bike, it will be the MT-10. So this was by chance. This was not something I was looking forward to. Mm. This just happened to be there when I was ready to get the MT-10. Mm. Yeah. So it wasn't planned. I just, I was like, because I didn't want another sports bike. Because my first bike was a sports bike. Second bike was a sports bike. So I was like, eh, let me try and see whether I can do like a naked bike for comfort. Mm. I, I think for comfort, I don't know. I just want to try something else. But this one happened to be on sale. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. You went for it and now you're enjoying it. Now I'm enjoying no it. Regrets. No, no regrets. Still okay, there, 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 still the reg there are still some regrets. Maybe it will come up later. <laughs> In anticipation. Yes, but... Uh, no regrets. I would still like to get the MT-10. Not the new ones. The one that look like the Transformer. Mm. There's the old, there's this new design. Eh, it's not so nice to me. The mm. previous, like if I was to get a 2019 MT-10, mm. I would be very happy. Because it looks like a, in my, it looks like a robot. Like the Transformer movies. Mm. Yeah. So you want to name it Megatron or something? When you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't name them uh, masculine names. It has to be uh, a girl's name. But I've never seen a girl who looks like a robot. Uh, I'm sure there's a female transformer somewhere. Where? <laughs> 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 
Ye, ataundo ama atatokea. <laughs> Wendi utampata sasa. Yeah. Let's just and then I'll name it after <laughs> that transformer. I <laughs> don't know. Talking of which, tell me about your biking journey. When did you start riding and what was your first bike and the journey and experience in general? Uh, I started riding 2017. And the reason I got into biking was mostly for selfish reasons. Because... Uh, what I did was, okay, where I used to work before, let's say, pre-2017, we used to get transport for free. So what we'll do, we'll get picked by the staff bus. You just go in, sit, you can sleep, you can gossip, you can do whatever, you can read your novel while you are being taken to work. Mm. Nothing. Like, you, you, you have no worries at all. So when I switched jobs, now this is a company which doesn't offer transport. So now you have to... The luxury is gone. The luxury is gone. So now you have to board, uh, use public means, which was okay the first, uh, like, one month. I was like, uh, now you know the stress of public transport. Mm -hmm. You don't have a car, and then anyway, a car, I think, is a waste of time mm -hmm. to commute with. Mm -hmm. So I, w I preferred using the, uh, the motorcycle. I, w I would prefer either use a matatu or a boda boda to go to work, mm. but not a car. Like I wouldn't take an Uber to go to work. Mm. Either to me a matatu or I use a uh, boda boda because mm. of time. Mm. Time, boda boda, matatu, convenience, and it's cheaper, much cheaper than an Uber. So at some point I was like, eh, these people, they are riding. I'm getting at work uh, after two hours. This border border guy must have uh, usually transports me to work by within like 45 minutes. So I said, let me look for a bike. I had nowhere to start. I had no idea uh, about biking. No biker friends, nothing. So the first stop I did was uh, Facebook. Mm. So I started looking like bikes in Kenya, blah, blah, blah so on and so forth and uh unfortunately and this should be a cautionary tale to new riders who may watch this uh there are very many con men out there uh, yeah, that's true and i met one of them unfortunately i won't disclose the amount i was washed <laughs> but you can at least disclose the name is, uh, there's this guy who was there back in 2017. Some guy, in one of oh, he's not places. there anymore. Or he's if he's there, he's under a different name. Ah, uh, but he was a really good convincer. Like Gange Kwambia, eh, is Kwapa and you see back then, uh, because you are naive, you, you just think everything online is the truth. Because mm. when you go to Amazon, you think it's the same thing at in Kenya, they are trusted. And I could let you sell agreement. You see, the, you see they convince you in ways they give you a legitimate bank account, a legitimate uh, uh, address. Okay, now I don't know whether it's legitimate, but still. Mm. The I good thing is the, the, the amount wasn't substantial, mm. not to the point uh, that it would break my spirit mm. yeah, to get into biking. But yes, I was conned, and when I talked to other people, uh some i know like two other people who are conned by the same guy same person i i'm sure the older guys this person is not a biker or anything it's just if he is uh shame on him because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's calling a fellow biker but anyway what, what name was he using then maybe he's I still can't there. remember I can't remember. It's been it's been a while. Mm. It was that bad. You didn't even want to remember. I'm sure if I look at my emails, <laughs> you because <laughs> you talk through call. email. Hey, <laughs> even phone calls. I used to call him. Mm. And then you see, the first bike I wanted was an R3. Mm. So Nikona, hey, 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 hey. and I buy. I got that guy from uh, Piggy Ami. This ah, this website I called Piggy Ami. Right. I know Piggy Ami. Yeah. It's Ah, my friend. Eh, to me, Ongea Kwanza, he had a nice GSXR 600. A yellow one. To me, a picture. 
of course yeah but i'm sure they were fake mm. it was it was like a photo from the internet ameka tu hapo anakuambia nauza so yeah so it didn't start well but uh, later on after nimesha oshwa by the guy I've, i'm like okay this one too bad uh, money is gone but you can't stop there money comes money goes but so immediately after you sent him the money uh, at what point did you realize your stories been uh, stories uh, stories oh, you're still in communication after yeah, sending the money i'm like hey wait say so sent you the money like uh, let's say three weeks ago and you say the bike uh, will be delivered stories 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 ah. uh, so what i took from there was this is a learning the lesson mm-hmm. yes this was a learning experience so from now henceforth unless you are seeing the bike or it's a reputable person who is known don't don't dare buy things online come on that's how you decided everything should be through someone like exotic you know yeah yeah now like yes. just do legit business. so now after that now uh, but the spirit is there so i googled and uh, nini then i saw uh uh Kyle back then they were by the way they were still with Black Rose but around TRM uh, they were based at uh, TRM there i think where where Ru is now uh, okay. so nikaenda hapo nimetembea already nimeoshwa uh, some money so when i was walking there i was like hey i'm a this another con man <laughs> but i said this time <laughs> let me go and physically make sure that there is an office there Mm. And so you I know them hmm? like you know who you're dealing exactly. with exactly and i can see a face and in case uh, shit uh, hits the fan i can go in neza makarao ndio hawa this is the guy who was who has gone me some money and the bald guy. one yeah who you hapa who jama hapa na cheka cheka so yeah that's where i met akina that's when i met akina oyaya Uh, all those guys who are back there can I even I can do Alex all those guys that's how the journey began nikaona i was intro- there's a guy called Evans i don't know if you know him Evans yes uh and you can say back then bikes were coming from UG mm akanyonyesha picha mzuri a very nice Kawasaki Ninja 300 fell in love nikawekelea order the bike came from UG eh from UG mm. Jimbak was telling me UG bikes were hot cake like those they bikes were, were, were really eh 2017 me I started 2017 which is just uh, it's recent not how many years 7 mm. yeah 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 yo it's 2017 all bikes most bikes will come from there they were nice units of course kuna stories here and there where you hear team mtu amefanywa sijui nini but yeah so that's where it started of course uh, now the another mistake i made was i bought the bike without gear so now the bike imefika i don't even have gloves sina gloves sina helmet nothing again thank god we have the guys there it's a garage so they quickly sold me a full suit niliuzoa full suit arakaraka na helmet hata sikuwa na and boots were they new or no no full suit of course ni used helmet was new mm. full suit was used and boots were used sikuwa na gloves my money had run out so i was like eh hapa sasa the first i think one week i was riding without gloves again not recommended if you ever fall down you are uh, you are in problems so <laughs> yeah after a week nikapata ka 3k mahali nikapata gloves i think i bought them from i can't remember somewhere warwick kulikuwa na duka ya nini warwick can't remember the name the one of the basement or mm not the basement one that you near juicy there was another one just same level with the road Mm. They are week, yeah. Okay. Nikachukua hapo and yeah, that's how it started my journey. Of course, uh through trials and tribulations. 
kuanguka kupata shamba you see the good thing with these small cc bikes mm. and you are a new rider <laughs> you will uh, you will you will get to learn a lot while you're on the journey yeah yes so kuanguka nimepata mashamba mingi okay not many several very prime ones by the way really yes but you look okay yeah no okay. no siku mia mm. but you see the location mm. the location of the uh, shambas uh, high end high prime 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 <laughs> prime places so that's how it started mm. from there it's been a breeze and uh oh and something that helped me actually a lot was extra training mm. from uh wasike you took training with wasike yeah? i went to tra- before by the way mm. after all my shambas now we started riding with the constar after you fallen down a few times yes yes we oh, we all started together uh, mm. the same so we are going to the same garage here we are so uh, then uh, he said where fanya hivi you go and get trained by this guy akanipa namba ya wasike so i talked to wasike of course he taught me so much and from that day henceforth i've never eh hey, by the knock on wood manze <laughs> i hope to never ever i've never uh, had a, like an incident where i've like crashed and got injured because the other ones those shambas i'm talking about uh, i would get like tissue injuries because we ah. slide so we slide and of course now you see with some of this gear mm. uh you find uh, you may not be bleeding to mm. the leather maybe saved you but you are still feeling so na vituka hizo nothing so training really matters and, uh, very important yeah very important so yeah. that that was the beginning of my riding journey 2017 kawasaki ninja let me ask you before we proceed yeah when you when you got your first bike did you feel like it's important to get the lessons or after falling down is when you realize maybe i should get lessons or did someone just give you a tip like you know what go get some training somebody i i had a nagging feeling like yeah. uh, there's something i'm doing wrong like uh, you just had a feeling yes uh, but i couldn't tell what it is because i went for training at uh, rocky to train bikes eh hey. Me I have a legit uh, nini. <laughs> you see ma, uh, kuna watu wenye walienda tu akastampiwa DL. Mm. Oh fine, me I don't care. Na wako tu sawa. Wako tu sawa. Eh <laughs> me I went legitimately to Rocky but I was like you see Rocky once once you move the bike from point A to point B hata hawana shughuli na wewe. Uko sawa. Uko sawa because I already knew how to drive a car. So kwanza once they had you already have a class like the BCE the old one in ps ju inaitwa aje bc ah wewe na unajua ku ride bicycle kwanza i remember the questions i was asked mm. ulizo wewe unajua ku ride bicycle eh ah wewe ushajua hata <laughs> akanipandisha tu bike akan show this the clutch this the brake throttle ndio hii mafuta it was a kick injo kick nini nini within five minutes naambua chapa maraundi ilikuwa kwa kiwanja mm. chapa maraundi so the whole day unaenda take your five laps 10 laps 15 laps unarudi mm. that was it for one day and that's no, it no i trained for like four days but Just four doing days the same doing thing. the same thing kwa kiwanja unazunguka ni nini eh, which is ideally well technically you have been trained to ride no theories though no explanations no 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 theory theory i already know see nime, i have a history of riding cars so like pedestrian crossing the road signs and everything those ones i know but would you have known through would you have known lane splitting and stuff no you see now that's the thing those ones were not taught bikes and cars are two different things you know exactly the assumption exactly. they have and that's why i was saying i had a nagging feeling af- after kupata like some very silly mistakes we are making mm-hmm. i'm like no that could have been avoidable maybe. yes which you know when you do something you have to like self reflect mm. and see okay what could i have done better so u- umeanguka umepata shamba some very silly places kuna zile legitimate but i mean 
wacha nisiongee ndo sasa tutapatia kama mmoja ama mbili hivi lazima so now you are like i so tukiongea tu na now like consta ndio akasema ebu chukua namba because i was like eh hey, mimi i don't know how wasike's name came up but i'm sure it was through my horrible experience yeah. with uh, falling down and uh, yeah from there history consta is the one who now advised you to go get ready he was also new as i said he has started in 2017 yes i uh, believe yeah mm. so yeah that's it and uh, from there history to katrinoa vizuri mm. with the uh, wasike so you apply these things uh, every time you ride some of these things you may not know how to articulate them mm. but ni kama zikondani like they have been drilled into you so you mm. may not explain it but you know uh, what you need to do the more practical it's exactly, rather exactly yeah? exactly like umekwa makonza hapo now you start swerving you are told this it is same thing like the training we did mm. that yeah, that the time TRNK, yeah, yeah the trnk1 so you can say there's a big difference between rocky and wasike <laughs> it's hey, you could see you can't you, uh, right Very now big. you can't recommend this uh, driving schools now if right now kuna watu wameniuliza mm. i want to to train bikes mm. i tell them when you are ready tell me i'll tell you who to go to there are many coaches yeah. i mean kuna wasike kuna mika mm. I, so I, I, uh, those are the only two i know of i'm sure there are many others who can do a much better mm. job mm. yeah and uh, now uh, before we proceed because i have some questions uh those two crazy accidents that you've had i wanted i want you to mention at least two that you think could have been avoidable and uh if you are taking the lessons maybe you could have learned you know like those ones that you're saying uh, yeah. is a upala sana zenye uh situational awareness like one one of them ilikuwa sarit center and i rear ended a car Shit. you see mm. <laughs> and it was such a slow like you can't really explain it umeria and gari mm. and you know sarit center that area it's not uh, somewhere where you go fast it's, a, it's i mean katikati ya nini westlands mm. it's a very busy it's place. a very busy place so mm. i wasn't going fast but mm. for some reason i was i think at 40 or something Mm. I rear ended so I wasn't aware you see the way cars stop we unaona kuna gap so you continue accelerating and you're looking left mm. you're not looking ahead mm. so by that you you are thinking the cars are still moving kumbe zimesimamishwa mm. so by the time you're looking forward too late shanga kwa gari umeanguka hapo and and uh, so like yeah. you are not aware of what's going on around and ni hii kukunja kio Mm. side mirrors you mm. don't know what's happening behind you niko mfanye hivyo pia i used to do that but i stopped what was the reason why you were doing that uh, no reason in particular it was just swag <laughs> like uh, <laughs> have a sport bike <laughs> ama uh, i why think sometimes like sometimes mm. you see what others are doing and then you do that because <laughs> na hey, by the ukipiti katikati ya magari you better it's best you funga it funga side mirrors so you just do it then you forget to mm. to kuzikunjua like to unfold them ah. so i think it was like one of those crazy, those situations uh, okay. yeah mm. no you imetosha you appeal it it's uh, for another day no there is not going to be another Are day you? what do you mean another ah, day si nitarudi hapa season whatever which season ni patupati ingine moja unajua hii site shared your awareness which is yeah, yeah. the other one was if you had taken like, the lesson then maybe to the yes, probably yes you like uh, you are supposed to see now you are told uh, be at least kwa na situational awareness mm. like you need to know Keep what's your going your distance from cars exactly but now rocky is just telling you to go laps <laughs> yeah 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 so easy <laughs> nini this uh, the the other one is like uh, breaking you see now you are taught how to break ah uh, yes properly When now one how? thing i used to do was when i break i clutch in mm. mean you kwa najua if you break without clutching in gari tajizima 
like the bike. Yes, because mm. the manual. Mm. But you are removing the element of uh, engine braking. Engine braking, yeah. So when you clutch in, it's like now you are relying purely on your brakes. The brakes. And you know now uh, brakes for a Ninja 300, you cannot compare those brakes with like brakes of a 600cc sports mm. bike or a, a little bike. Or a little bike. Because yeah. of stronger. this. Yeah, they are worlds apart. Mm. So we we clutch in and then you break. We clutch in, then you break. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Then you're wondering why am I not stopping? You hit something else. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just as a situation awareness, you are just not stopping. Skill. Yes, and also, uh, you see, like the way you are supposed to like to grab your tank, make sure like maybe your weight at least. Uh, you are front the knee. tank with your thighs you yeah, exactly mm. uh, you are front thighs you know like mm. I don't know I can explain that mm. that wasn't there where you, you are just uh, nini. on a cruise, on a cruise mm. <laughs> and you're braking then you wonder why am I not stopping and I've braked I'm break still getting to this car so this uh, kind of techniques mm. uh, to be honest if you don't talk to people Sasa, you never know like where to get this information from. At what point do you clutch in when you're braking? Hey, unless you feel the bike is about to stall. Yeah, when you notice the stalling, right? Yes, when it's about to. You can tell. Ukizoea, mm, mm. That's the only point. Like, uh, you know, like you are nearly coming to a halt. Mm. Then... Mm. You can know, okay, now let me just pull in the clutch, otherwise the bike will stall. Yeah, so maybe just for clarity, because I realize in this podcast, uh, most people who watch are the newbies and the ones who inspire to be bikers. Uh, during when you're braking, when you're doing hard braking, you don't have to clutch in immediately. You take some time before you clutch in. Yeah? Yeah. Otherwise, the when you feel like the bike is about to stall, that's when you clutch in. At least, and w- by the time you get at that point, then the bike will be now. You will have the stopped will by have then. Cl- unless, close to stopping. unless uh, yeah. like, it's somebody who jumped across the road, mm. where you will still hit the mid anyway. Maybe <laughs> you're just reducing the speed as much as possible. Or the damage is, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, most of the time, because again, now your situation awareness is high. So you see all of a sudden, this car has braked. Mm. So you immediately start braking and... If you do proper brake techniques, mm. you should be able to stop. I mean, uh, uh, knowing your bike, mm. uh, like uh, the way now, the the point where I will start braking with mm. this bike is not where I will start braking with my old Ninja 300. You yes. Get, because you know this one will stop much, uh, sorry, much faster mm, than, sooner. Mm. much sooner than the Ninja 300. So, if you know, maybe you need 50 meters for the R1, maybe we'll put like 70 meters for the Ninja 300. Mm. And that is one thing that most people don't know, especially when they have this big transition, you know. When they come from a 400 to a 600 or a 1000 cc, they don't know such things. They might feel like uh, it's the same thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, The power might be too much and confusing at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, you learn that the hard way. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully, you g- you you walk out of it. Yes. Uh, so w- the rule of thumb is like when I upgraded from the Ninja 300 to the 600, uh, I was riding it with the limits uh, I knew of the Ninja 300. Uh, like with the Ninja 300, I think I never used to go past 130 kph. That was your limit. You that was my yourself. limit for the bike that I had imposed on myself. Uh, the bike will go faster, but 130, max, maximum 140. So when I got the 600, I used to keep maximum 140. Mm. The, like the first two weeks. Mm. So that you learn, like, you know, oh, okay. So I can break uh, this. Uh, then you start learning the bike slowly. You know, ah, okay. Uh, this one, even like, if I can push it to whatever speed, like 160, 170, mm. it will still stop way faster than at a much shorter distance than the mm. Ninja 300. Mm. So you have to learn the bike before you start pushing th- uh, the bike to the limits. Mm. And these bikes, you cannot push them to the limits on public roads. 
tricky I you get. cannot uh, kuna, uh, um, no one should ever tell you at uh, a max out uh, a liter bike or a 600cc because the maxing out they are saying ni kwenda straight on a straight line 299 that that's nothing anybody can at a mimi with my ninja 300 mm. I am sure if I got a 10 kilometer stretch mm. downhill nani finye to your bike kabisa ingefika ingefika 200 mm. or something you uh, going going straight a uh, straight line isn't really maxing out a sports bike a sports bike the limits are on track ah. proper track not uh, not uh, what we have currently and not on twisties Mm. like uh, nyoka nyoka although it's enjoyable mm. but you really can't say it's what we have close to a track yes <laughs> but you can't really say that you have maxed out a uh, 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 sports bike especially a 600 cc or 1000 cc uh, yeah i always say 600 cc to me is the sweet spot for bikes what do you mean because it has the power to to get away from almost anything mm. from any problem you have uh, in regards to riding yes mm. uh, it has the power it you can have a, a, a thrilling time mm -hmm. with a 600 cc mm. you can enjoy it on uh, twisties and more importantly it's more fuel efficient than a liter bike mm. you see it's yeah true that makes sense yeah so if you really must have a sports bike, in my opinion, get the 600cc. But there is something about uh, liter bikes which you cannot get the on the 600cc. Yes, that is what power. The way they pull, the mm -hmm. acceleration is mm -hmm. where new autumn tafika 200, mm -hmm. assuming that's what you want. Mm -hmm. But how these bikes get to 200 mm. is very different like mm. if you ride uh, you have the r6 mm. if you have somebody with a 1000 uh, cc bike new water when they call bumps mm. see now you have cleared the bumps and now you want to shoot mm. the takeoff the bus that take the take yeah, i've seen i've experienced that that takeoff you mm. cannot compare with the it's uh, even if you have I an r6 <laughs> and you take the lead <laughs> so at some point <laughs> in fact i think in three seconds uh, the takeoff is what is up. I think that's the beauty about uh, liter bikes, in my opinion. Mm. The takeoff, it's so it's so nice. Ivo tuna amenda. Ivo tuna amenda. Like one minute is here, the other minute, akuko. <laughs> yeah. Unaona tu tail light. Leo tail light, and uh, yeah, mm. the the thrill of going fast. Yes, once in a while, when the same match ni sukume, but it gets boring very fast. It's not something you do every time. You yeah. can't do it every time. Mm. So the like for me, I say for the bike I have, I bought it because of the sound. Yeah. Not really at you I need the power. Me is J Max. Me, but they may consider myself a slow rider. Me too. Me, I interest yangu ya to go brag and say how fast I go. Yeah. My friend, mtaniacha tu apo misi na shida. Actually, I'm starting an organization. It's called the Slow <laughs> Slow People Association. Slow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's a buy up for yeah. treasurer I'm a vice. Talking of buying, <laughs> ask you when your position. Eh, hey, mean your position buyer. <laughs> when your position what? Position TRN. Who's your vice chairman? Uh, so that is your campaign, your uh, what do you call it? Like your deputy. Eh, <laughs> hey, vice chairman's Juni Nani. I don't know who who became number two. Mm. Who was number two though? Curiously, I think you are number two. No, no, no. You say, hey, me, I am going to say number two. But my friend. Ultolo ko balot. Hey, 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 hey. Your man on attack ku kuangalia watu kabisa uambi. Hey, that was a landslide. You see, at least for the vice, mm. the vice I think it was Moha mm. and somebody else. I think Moha Kanegia. was number two. Is it Korea or who? I I can't remember. Mm. You see them at least they got uh, votes. Hey, me <laughs> Hey, my friend. One. <laughs> I, th I think I got thirteen. 
Hey, By the way, wale those 13 guys are certain sana. <laughs> uh, that's a potential for you now. It means next year. Hey, it uh, means next year now you'll have everything. No, 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 no. Me I I don't I wouldn't prefer to be in a position of leadership. Mm. You'd rather be opposition. I pref- no, I prefer mm. to be in the background. Mm. Like mm. you see the people who mm. we are not there mm. but we are there. Mm. Kuna the face that the public knows and kuna the people behind who actually make the things uh work utaki hata kuwa chief whip ai mimi kwanza eh hapana you I, see <laughs> leadership ina require people skills mimi mm. ai m- eh eh ya tutaki ama unaona bado hapana i'm not interested it's not it's so not uh, you see nini leadership is not for everybody mm. and it's good if you know your limits yes mean mimi usai hata mkanisimamisha hapa nimesema nini i'll be like eh eh siko interested sita wape your time you see leaders were supposed to serve the people ideally lead and serve at the same time i don't think i would have the for now no at this point in my life bado maybe in another five years hopefully to cut my song mbele as trnk but yeah Yo, that's something for the future. Oh, nice. So, uh, I want us to talk about two things. One, we're going to talk about the track. And then number two, I want us to talk about fuel consumption of bikes. So, mm, there's a debate that's been going on about fuel consumption. And uh, also the type of fuel that you need to put on your bike. I don't know, octane rating, V-power, uh, and leaded yakawaida. We don't have diesel bikes here. Uh, I don't <laughs> think na <laughs> yeah, <it's that> <laughs> yeah yeah definitely so um first i wanted you to explain the difference between v power and this normal uh, fuel what is it called unleaded yeah yeah the normal mm-hmm. uh, yeah and why you you are telling me that you feel like it's important for super bikes to fuel v power yes. because it's good for the engine so maybe you can explain that to us how how this works really uh the first thing mm. you have to do is read your manual by the way all bikes have owned i read the manual but some bikes don't come with manual no, so you go d- and download online okay unless need this uh, ver- even the chinese bikes i'm sure they, they have, have manuals manual. yes mm. Mm. unless it's a really kenyeji eh manze sijui ni bike gani unaweza nunua kenya mpya assuming mm. a new bike without a manual mm. and part of the manual will say the kind of fuel you require mm. so now because fuels kuna this rating uh, ron i use ron kuna zingine ron kuna pon uh, i ca- i don't know what the acronym stands for i just know only octane and n is number and they are different kuna ron and there is i think the one us use i don't know if it's pon or something P O N na kuna mm. R O N but I'll stick to R O N cuz that's what we use in Kenya. Do you think in Africa we get uh, clean fuel? I think we do. I think we do because legit legit mm. because mm. look at the kind of cars we have in the country. Where are they getting the fuel? Of course kuna racing fuel mm. but that is extreme I mean unless you are racing but I think we have legitimate fuel because uh first of all the ron like for this bike is you are supposed to use ron 95 mm. now that rating i think is just to prevent knock mm. you see sasa kuna because of the compression of these bikes mm. the high compression mm. of most sports bikes let me say 600 cc and 1000 cc sports bikes mm. not uh, an adventure or something mm for most of them the compression mm. because it's a high compression engine mm. you you may suffer from knocking if you put bad quality fuel or low quality what I'm saying bad mm. you go you are easy bikes you need to put v power because that's the only 95 run i think in Kenya and i had actually googled mm. to see akina exelium nini 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 mm. mm. all of them they are below 95 <coughs> only v power shell mm. is rated at uh, 95 ron 
So that's the one you should be putting on these bikes. Mm. Now, of course, kuna situations where you cannot get, at, assuming to mend a nyoka nyoka. You get there, hakuna no uh, shell. Mm. So utafanya nini? So utaeka tuwe nyeiko. And, but, you, you will now have to adjust your riding. You can't now be rev nini, like unafikisha like 12,000 RPM or uh, whatever, like you are not uh, revving the bike to its limits. So you have to ride conservatively. Like kuna kuta mtu wako at 6,000 RPM, 7,000, at least until you get proper fuel. Because this run, in my opinion, again, people can go and research online. Most of it is to prevent uh, detonation before the spark plugs actually ignite the mixture, the fuel, uh, oxygen, air mixture. Mm. Yeah. And this cleaning of engine stuff? I think you only saw the Zajaba. No, kuna, kuna this, uh, and by the way, on top of, of that uh, RON thing, V-Power, there's this guy with the fastest GTR, 222. He, he's some Asian guy, mm. Tanuki. Mm. He actually did uh, an experiment on V-Power, and it's on YouTube. I think people should go and see that. Mm. He did, and he, uh, it's, V-Power is a GTR approved, if I can say that. Because mm. the guy has, I think, the fastest uh, GTR. Let me say East Africa, si sure. Maybe kuna ingine much faster than that that one. Mm. It's it's the one that Acid Boy raced against. The other time. Some other time. And Acid Boy won. Yeah, but uh, yo nakuanga na question marks. I think if track conditions were better, I think the car would win. Was it on a track or it was a drag? It was a track. Mm. Drag. Mm. Drag race, I think, called Nanyuki. Mm. Ah, not Nanyuki. The Nini that we go to. The airstrip. That's Nanyuki. Nanyuki? No, here up a vehicle. Anyway, I don't know where it was. That's where drags have been happening, yeah? Kwa airstrip, it's not Nanyuki wewe. Uko ni mbali. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Is there the one uko Mount Kenya, ama? I don't know. I just know it's uh, it's usually where drugs are done. Mm. Acid boy won. Mm. But I think, in my opinion, mm. the GTR is still faster than. I mean, it makes 1500. What bike was he using? I think S1000 double R. <laughs> Not the H2. No, even the H2, unless it's a uh, tuned H2. Mm. Like full and stretched. Watch uh, with the short wheelbase. You see, they 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 are the, the ones where they put like a longer swing arm. Mm. So in a quad stretch, mm. maybe that one will give it a uh, competition. Mm. But mm. Uh, in my opinion, the GTR is still the fastest. Uh, uh, nini. So somebody like that, um, a Kipiana stamp of approval, uh -huh. given that. You know, I'm sure he uses also race fuel for that, for for the the GTR. But he has other cars. Hmm. Uh, you should check out the channel. It's very nice. Yeah. So it's yeah. highly recommended. Uh, what about cars? Let's say the Impreza I have. It's a 2000 model. Umesoma manual. Ilingia Kenya 205. Ah, ina shida. The manual is there. So, but in, uh, most, most turbo Kenya. engines, by the way, mm. they require V-Power. But, yeah. maybe yeah. Junior 207, maybe mm. you don't require to put a uh, high octane fuel. Maybe. Again, mm. you have to go to the manual. Kama si story na kusafisha engine, yote kai. We've been... Ah, me kusafisha engine. The fuel you use should be, unless manze sujuli eka bad fuel somewhere. Then now you can use these uh, CG cleaners. I know a guy uh, who has been doing bad. Kimeu. Uh -huh. If you follow on Kimeu's stories on, uh, on Instagram, he's been complaining about fuel. I need him to come here, by the way, Kimeu. <laughs> come and explain <laughs> which petrol station is this you're refusing to snitch on. And tell ah, us where you get this bad fuel so that we can avoid it as bikers. That's a he'll good point. He'll be, coming, he'll be coming here soon as well. I need that that's one of the questions I'll need him to explain to us how 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 that's a good point because mm. you can get a uh, fuel that's contaminated 
I fuel at only two petrol stations. Mm. Mbili peke yake. Mm. One near my home and one near the office. So that if at any point I get sijai pata bad fuel but if I ever get bad fuel like the kind of misbehave and everything or the bike I know ni katia nyua wili. So I just check where did I last fuel. Nili fuel hapa it's you guys. Nyinyi. Nyinyi si watu wengine. Sometimes I scared they take the fuel and they go do some testing and I don't know. Or what Sasa. criteria do you think they use to know that it's bad fuel? Eh. Eh. Eh by the way apo sasa sijui. You see, see <laughs> the good thing is I've never experienced that like uh, putting bad fuel. Mm. But uh, hopefully I'll never because the places I've gone ni, ni I would say reputable uh, mm. petrol stations mm. and where you don't know you put as little as possible. Ujazi tank. Like uneka maybe something that can take you from point A until where you can trust the fuel. If you have, you have gone like for a long distance, just go to a reputable uh, shell. Ama total ama rubies. This uh, uh, I would say reputable stations. Let me ask you a new question. Mm-hmm. Um, you put fuel one liter and then it happened to be it happens to be bad fuel and then you ride to a place where you feel like now i can put fuel here a place where you trust and it's repeatable you put full tank there if the fuel was bad is it going to be diluted by this other one or what happens uh, because now you you put hey, may dilute, five more liters you may dilute but if you know for sure you may you put bad fuel i would say and uh, kimbia garage nitolewe kimbia garage tolewe because I've actually I've had it experience with bad fuel with my Ninja 250 because mm. you, you could feel the power like it's cutting off like I couldn't accelerate past like 100 kph mm. what made you realize that's the because immediately after I fueled you see the way you can ride mm. then when you're riding you feel no this bike uh, power it's gone Asubui kwa sawa ni nini jioni ukirudi there's something wrong with the bike and there's nothing else we have done just add fuel so ready by deduction you know it has to be the fuel so i went to the garage wakatoa wakamwaga hiyo mafuta we cleaned the injectors i think we also replaced spark plug i'm not sure and the bike became okay if put bad fuel and you know for sure it's bad fuel he went to garage and have it drained don't at uh, sorry i could dilute you just wasting fuel go with your bad fuel kwa garage if you can have it drained uh, clean the injectors and so one of the ways you, of things. one of the ways you know you have bad fuel is when you're riding your bike and you feel like the bike will you see in josasa where you say know your bike mm. i think oya mentioned seat time mm. seat time is very important so mm. that you will know how this bike behaves kabisa mm. when you put a, so when you put a fuel assuming kama sai nimekuja vizuri no problems no nothing if i go right now and fuel ni seme top up acha nfike nyumbani then all of a sudden apata misfires ama the bike is hesitating to accelerate na ilikuwa tu sawa na ilikuwa tu sawa mm. what else has changed apart from the fuel so you have to use like uh, you have to deduce that it has to be f- unless kuna kitu kingine tu magically that has happened uh, by some bad coincidence when you fueled also something else broke which m- most likely is not the case it would be that fuel mm. yeah there this there i'm sure kuna many an- other symptoms the most the major ones i know ni misfires for me the one that i've experienced personally is mm. hesitation on acceleration mm. like the bike haitaki kupita mm. as a tail uh, inakata uh, tu imekata tu oh but Then this is it again you learn ongelesha mek ukiambua like if you find bikers there kwa garage piga story ask questions ask questions what kujua ni nini kujua kujua you never stop learning kuna bikers wengine wataku mislead maybe they were misled 
na hawajui they are wrong so they start misleading others thinking they are saying the right thing uh, <laughs> eh, we, somebody could be ignorant but si uh, nini si kutaka kwake mm. pia yeye aliambiwa like do you know mm. spark plugs are supposed to last for a very long time really manual again read the manual me I hear people who are changing spark plugs every service I'm like this 5000 km <laughs> no like my manual yeah R1 says the spark plugs you need to check every service of course uh, every I think 6000 kilometers but you change after I think 40000 kilometers what type of spark plugs oh. of course the best is in iridium the ones oh, they recommend iridium. of course are like crazy expensive That's the, the ones they recommend for 40000 yes sasa uzuri if you buy the ones recommended on the manual mm. follow what the manual says unless there's a problem with the spark plugs maybe again uleka bad fuel ama i don't know something happened the spark mm. plugs may quite damaged mm. then you need to change ikaribu vitu zingine ufai ku change kama sju eh eh you you don't need to change like uh, mm. every service i think that yo sasa <laughs> there's something wrong Ah, Unless mm. again your manual says change it after every service. Yeah, but still yeah, it makes sense though. I don't think spark plugs in as a core station on a badlish after every service. Ah, they are very expensive. Yeah, yo, yo, it makes sense. Uh, ah, nice. Now uh, I think you've made it clear. Maybe it's a it's a broad topic as well for yeah. the issue with fuel. I know definitely some will agree to disagree, some will just disagree, but all yeah. in all yeah. I think you 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 make sense. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think uh, in the end do what eh uh, unajua in the end it's your bike. Mm. Kuna mtu who will never put V power mm. even though the bike requires that. Na si story na budget ataki tu. Ataki. Yeah, mm. yeah kwake is a waste of time. But if you look at it, mm. the price difference between normal petrol na V power is so little. Mm. Like if I put let's say 3000 ya V power na 3000 ya normal fuel i mm. don't even think i'll get an extra liter mm. from from the normal fuel just put v power na no story na yo story ishe ataka uko na a 200 cc bike wewe ka tuzoea one day uta get a na ruanem mm. make it a practice what i kusoteshe tu you kusota you are preparing yourself for greater things mm. so wewe ka me by the if somebody was to ask me kwa bike wewe ka tu nini mafta uh, okay obviously for some bikes no not really and don't need to kweka boxa bike ya kazi mm. you don't really need to put vipa you mm. utapoteza pesa and in your own fingers eh yeah but because yeah, mm. vipa is expensive bro like it is uh, over time it is expensive but if you are mm. somebody who rides uh, occasionally mm. like for me ah uh, where can you need just put vipa I you don't think the difference you commute you commute with your bike more than the adventure part of yes, it yes yeah? the bike is primarily for commuting and you chose an Oronem for that <laughs> wow eh hiyo ilikuwa by chance again by chance you chose an Oronem for that si nimekwambia before i wanted mm. before i wanted an MT10 because mm. of i was considering long distance but still it will be primarily for commuting Hey, but when this Can one even planning to commute with an M10. Hey. Hey. Smile, smile spagalo. Nachana na nini. <laughs> the the feeling you get mm. uh you can't compare. You can't Hey, when you are leaving watu kwa gari. People stuck in traffic. You you are there kwanza they need to be paying me mm. for listening to my engine. Kio <laughs> cross plane they need eh hey, 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 kaul kwa na stress bus. Nasikia tu eh that Nice nice okay to me it's very nice. Kuna watu wanaichukia by the way that sound. Mm. There are people who hate it. There are people who prefer the inline 4 sound. The normal one. Nyuki but may prefer this one. Ah uh, this is my sweetest actually. It's yeah. So I think it's for the majority. Uh, yeah, majority know. yeah, but I let's see. Like, mm. Yeah. The others are the rest are haters. <laughs> I mean who'd hate a, a legit sound of a sport bike? na watu mahali. I'm sure if you put a pole somewhere cross plane 4 or the inline 4 normal. Tutafanya hivyo. Utapata hivo. utapata nini? Utapata watu kadhaa watasema eh hey. moja wawili hivi. 
yeah not many mm. but mm. some will not like it which is fine i mean everybody is entitled yeah, to their uh, own opinion to their yeah, uh, tastes it's, yeah it's acceptable yeah, yeah by the way true so last question you're talking about tracks mm-hmm. mm. as you can see oh yeah has won so many awards yes but this is tgrv it's not a proper track for for bikes here's another track day i think this was for slim Moran. this is black rose uh nini but you see the problem is I don't think we have not that I don't think we don't have yeah we don't have a proper track yeah and when I was discussing with you some time back before I said I'd call you in the podcast uh you are telling you're giving me some advice on where to build a track how to build <laughs> it acres that we need and how to go about it yes. so now let's talk about that as we conclude uh, yeah. again this is somebody who has very little knowledge on real estate kazi tu ni kununua shamba but the planning and the development hana your sina mm. but again first of all we have to thank what the current people are doing to make the sport known na slick yeah slick even black rose yeah black sponsored rose, yeah. Uh, mm. there are so many awards yeah uh, very many people behind the scenes but right now it's a uh, slick trading who are taking the like they are taking the mantle to drive this thing now when i was starting to ride kulikuwa na group in it i think it's still there but it must be dormant road warriors i'm sure edu may have talked Can about it yeah. yes and what we used to do is we used to organize kulikuwa na track days me i prefer road racing by the way over the go kart why because you see the road racing you can utilize the bike more you see here for it's more dangerous yes but go kart track was for go karts motorcycles hiyo ni sisi tumesema wacha tu tutumie cause we have nothing better it's still good but kuna so much uh, that can be done if we have an open track and since we don't have an open track we used to close uh, barabara uko kiganjo mm. the twist is there they used to be closed i remember we used to have meetings watu wanachanga you had to remove from your own pocket mm. ataka u participate me used to unachanga even though you know you won't participate yeah. just because to support to support because you want this thing to grow mm. but now it stopped for one reason or another i don't know it's not my business your people know why it stopped mm. uh, but i think a it's it became too dangerous because there if you get an accident because again it hasn't been designed like for a track mm-hmm. like akuna run of areas for example so mm-hmm. it's laid you have low sided hey my friend tunajipata kwa shamba ya mtu mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. people are now pulling kuna watu wamepata shamba huko i remember because used to have like practice trainings and i used to go Watu mm. wamepata shamba. Na kumbuka uliniambia moja ya acid boy huko nyoka nyoka. <laughs> no 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 that was different. Yo ni ride ya kawaida. Mm. I'm saying like ile barabara imefungwa mm. and people are riding. Mm. You see. So now track mm. in my opinion. Mm. If I was right now told a boy organize what we need a track. The first thing I would say why would I choose I told you uh, around Nanyuki is Yolo and not Kajiado I'm picking those sides because of the airport uh, right now we were debating whether uh, planes have to go to uh, JKA first A&M. before is Yolo but if you look at the future one day if they do that now I really hope they don't because it beats the purpose yeah your airport is Yolo and it's an international one flights will be coming directly from wherever to isiolo so if you have a track where people can come from all over assuming nika we are not talking about moto gp levels of track of nini of uh, a track something small we have to start somewhere at least the same at tunataka budget ya like at 900 million or 1 billion to build a track and yet we are starting from tgrv na whistling morans we have to start small shamba ni mingi a land we have a lot of land in kenya what we don't have is people who can see that this is something they can grow the people who have money 
you can't tell them that he invest in a truck to race. The people who have money right now who can put in those that kind of amount are people maybe my parents' age. Uwe utamwambia tu unataka truck watu waende kurace hapo. And you are telling them to pump in maybe assuming like uh, assuming it's a collective uh, 30, 40 million. It's very hard. So, but the first thing we will do hmm. get a land uko kwanza isiolo because it's arid hmm. na nanyuki I'm sure land will be much cheaper than Marika Kajiado. Hmm. You get yeah. I believe it will be cheaper. Yes, in Bali, but mm. for the love of the sport, mm. people will still travel to those sides. Oh, makes sense. Then uh, the problem is money. Money had to do it at all happy. Mm. But we have sponsors. We have people who can sponsor this uh, this this sort of construction mm. because uh, of the potential it has to bring. And it's not only biking. Remember, also cars. The car scene is much larger than the biking scene in Kenya. Mm. Yes. The, the, uh, there are four, uh, most people are into cars than into most petrol heads are car enthusiasts, not biking enthusiasts. Utapata mtu wamekuja wewe car na subaru yako, unakuta mtu wamekatu some huge turbo hapo hivyo, and they really want to gun. <laughs> uh, 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 those kind of things we have uh, a huge car community so a hey, we have to collaborate with them ruanzi hapo we can't work as bikers peke yake we are not enough we have to engage the car community as well because your truck a truck let's say a, an example of these international trucks trucks like akina sjui mizano sepang all those mm. trucks bikes go there wana toka you find a formula 1 imeenda hapo or this uh, gt gt races mm. so it will have to be a collaboration between bikers and cars because imagine now bikers we are struggling already at whistling morans what about the cars the cars can't even race they do i think time attacks mm. because weze kagari mbili hapo the truck is too small mm. so it has to be I think the biggest problem is where the money will come from because it I don't think the government will be willing to the government can give us land mm. that one I think they can you see some, sometimes mm. what wanna say oh serikali saidia serikali saidia you as a group what have you done mm. the government can come in ways maybe they can waive some taxes and as I say okay we we'll listen to you uh, we uh, uh, taxes for XYZ ABCD we can slash them maybe be instead of paying 16% utalipa 5% you get mm. that's what the government will do I don't think the government will wake up uh, at this point it's and say it 100% at eight to kama sepang. they can do it mm. they have the if the budget is there they can do it mm. uh, but I don't think they will uh, this track I think will be will be private mm the private person how they will collaborate where will they get the money because you see you have to get returns on the investment where they can track up and at is for free mm. no way plasma ujue how you will recoup that investment and how many acres you need i think for starters 100 acres metosha that's inclusive of amenities okay let's say 200 200 acres will give you, let me tell the you. The truck alone gets how many? The truck itself. The truck, I will say, like 60 acres. The truck. Yeah, the the yeah. It's mm. <laughs> architect. <laughs> but I will say, with 200, because I've seen, like, uh, the Qatar one, the Qatar one is 260-something acres, mm. if uh, hectares, if I'm not mistaken. And mm. Qatar is a small country. Mm. Kenya, Kenya, we have land even 500 acres to Nezapata. Crazy. Easily, easily for a truck. Ah. And it will be very cheap. We have a lot of land in Kenya. But Nanyuki, I don't think can get 500 Utapata. acres. Well, Juzi, I was, at some point, somebody was offering to sell us 2,000 acres. But you had in to Nanyuki. buy, yes, but you had to buy 2,000 acres. 
not si less. Si ati, ah, mina taka tu ka nini, kawane ka ama mm. kate, no. The guy was saying, and it was legit. Mm. You have to buy the whole chunk. So who are buying these 2,000 acres, this land buying companies? Those are the guys. And then they'll keep and it for And then they will subdivide time. and then they'll sell it to you at ridiculous prices. Oh. So like for instance, this 2,000 acre, the person was selling at what price per acre? Could be so cheaper. very cheap. I think it'll go 200k per acre. And you have to buy? You have to buy the whole chunk. So now this land buying company will come. They will, of course, take that uh, 2,000 acres at 200k mm. per acre mm. and uh, sell it to you guys at 1M per acre. Time ikifika. Time ikifika. Because land appreciates anyway. Land appreciates. Eh? Atachukua, mm. ataka nayo, even if they stay for five years, then they will come. And, and you see, with that kind of land, you can even use it as collateral for to do a lot of things. Mm. I mean, that value, or the, the, the value of that land is so high. So, the land is there. Mimi hakuna mtu waneza niambia tutuneza kosa shamba ya track. Despite the location, because kwa hiyo track, assuming even if you have like 300 acres, you can put a hotel and a camping site. Kwanza camping site will be popular because you, you can come with your bike. Sumeto, mm. ama umezeka kwa pick up car ane. Ni wote mnasema tunenda. Like Isiolo, for example. Assuming kona nyuki. Mm. You hire a pick up, put our bikes there. Ziende, tutezipata na nyuki. You, you come with your car. Ni nini camping. Camping hata unalipishu wa 500 per night. People will come. That's a good idea. The ideas are there. Uh, the problem is, I think the problem is money. Because somebody will have to step up. Sijui, I don't know how, because it's a significant investment. Easy kitu, easy kitu mini as a same andafanya, unless ni angukie jackpot or something. You get. But I believe we need a track because it will, we have so much talent here. Mm. Again, I will mention Akina Acid Boy. Mm. These guys, Wameenda Sujui, I think he's been to Malaysia and Red Star, mm. South Africa. Mm. Kwanza Red Star Raceway is not even a proper, like, an FIM track. Mm. Like a it's not approved, like. It's not approved for, like, international races, FIM races and stuff. But it's stuff. good. But it's good. Tunezanzi hapo. You don't need a track like a, like the one in South Africa, Chalami. Mm. They have an international track there. We don't need that for now. Ju, we are starting from nothing. We are starting from go kart tracks we mm. need some mtu tuwa ekele tu kalami the thinnest of tarmacs even runoff we don't want to tend to tanguka kwa nyasi you if you break your legs in sour so utapona and you'll go back to riding <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's i mean simple. it's that simple people are already racing on the roads mm. na matatu and uh, whatever people have died so if you give somebody where we can nurture this talent he, again you have to be selfless mm. if we were to all chip in assuming to eke harambe. We, we are not doing this for us. This is for our children. Mm. My time, Mimi, as a racer, is, is, I, I, I've it's never been a racer. I cannot be a racer. It's over. Mm. Uh, sana. Mm. Same for most of us. Mm. The people who can now benefit from this is the future mm. generations. Generation, yeah. There's a kid out there, these kids who admire our bikes when we ride. Mm. Uyo sasa, those are the people who can be the next valentinos mm. the next market see 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 you mm. can't do this for for us as mm. racers mm. you get yeah it makes sense it has to be selfless mm. this thing has to be selfless mm. so whoever does it of course there has to be a financial gain because mm. there is equal loss but it will have to take a lot of sacrifice i get your point yeah. totally get your point which makes mm, Makes a lot of sense. Any any closing remarks uh, to newbie riders, those who wish to join the biking and everything? What's uh, that parting shot you have to tell them? Eh, parting shot. Where? Uh, I'm going to bike. I'm going to bike every Oh, yeah. Be patient. With what? When learning or? Be patient with life. Because, kuna mtu ataona, uh, let's say the R1M to some people it's their dream bikes mm. but you see siku, siku amuka, siku moza, very few people can do what some people do Kuna mtu, their first bike will be an R1M because they have the financial capability 
kuna watu you cannot do that you have to start from somewhere so where hata uko na 150 cc you see you have to look ahead the mindset is very important usikae hapo useme you will always be riding on 50 cc wewe utaanzia hapo na 150 cc but do something that you know you are working towards getting that 1000 cc bike and that doesn't apply on bikes only it's mm. in life kama sayu unaka labda bed sitter mm. you can't say you will live all your life kwa bed sitter what you are doing now what are you doing now njo in 10 15 years mm. ni kuja nikae hapa kako yaya mm. you get will you spend all your life kwa bed sitter no no you have to challenge yourself you have yeah. to challenge yourself as much as you're being be patient, patient. Mm. yes so kasa yuki lana what have you done to better yourself to get to where you are going yonjo sa parting shot na so be patient kuna mtu atakwambia hey, this is my dream bike ni nini awesome thank you that's nice but some will say na hii kama hii inaweza pata na pesa ngapi ama na na ni nini you are like uh, okay it's expensive yes but si must si must si must, hapo. Si must. like mm, uh, sana yeah you you may make horrible financial decisions mm. just to unjo uonekane uko nayo and you really cannot ni like if you are told like the four spark plugs of this bike ni 10k mm. the set of four mm. oils do you have to buy eh uh, although yama lobby na saidia but if you are inclined to use motul mm. very expensive oils mm. all of a sudden ku service bike ni kwa shida mm. because you went and did something without being patient without thinking of uh what to yeah, you miscalculate things exactly because of impatience oh lendo kachukua tu loan take take of course by the way right now if you want a uh, nini see slick trading import bikes and other people like moto edv mm. you can easily go and get a loan na ununue and we'll also say ah hata mimi niko na kuna bike sasa kuna bike sasa but bike. that mm. is just the beginning mm. how will you maintain wacha ianze kuitisha tires then you start realizing oh this 200 rear tires see le 120 mezoea nini these other bikes mm. very expensive napata one tire is exp- is like uh, like this tire moja mbele the super corsa that came with it you find those tires are very expensive <laughs> that's true so you are like eh na imekula tire me last only 3000 km imeisha you need new tires unapata kununua set moja ni ka 50k eh uh, yes around there 50 yeah, around there yeah Ve- so uh, now Dubai, I mean. yes and you are patient enough grow yourself fast ndio ukifika hapo you can easily do those things mm. uh, of course with uh, with 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 some caution set kila saa unashinda ukinunua like me i bought touring sport touring tires because the bike came with a uh, super corsa na simesema ni anaitumia for commuting mm. <laughs> hey when it rained throttle levy the bike is fish tailing i'm like i sasa ina modes ah modes aita kusaidia kwa hizo tires it's no? too in those tires in the wet mm. aita kusaidia so you just have the wrong tires you, you have the wrong tires for the uh, no mode will help you <laughs> the bike the bike is too powerful Uh, and the, the tire is too nini it's just not meant for wet surfaces now we'll need a specific topic another day for specific to- topic about tires and oh, what yeah. tires you need for the road <laughs> and, experience. and everything yes <laughs> you need that that is very crazy but thank you so much for coming through so, so uh, you've shared plenty. so many info information that i i'm hoping will be helpful to any guy who's a newbie or anyone who's still there and you still didn't have this information I hope this can help someone. Sawa sawa. Yeah. Asante sana bro, I appreciate it. All right then. Uh, yeah. Thank you.